if you weren't able to be in class tonight, I just wanted to get through uh, some of this so you understood what was going on. Uh, here's the master bedroom. And with the master bedroom, I have uh, uh, eight different boxes that I want you to look at. So if we look at, you can see uh, here's box one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. What I want to do is figure out what size of box it is and how many wires are coming into it so we can figure box fill as well as what device is in it. So if we go to our little matrix over here, I have box one. Uh, I know it's a one gang and I know it has a duplex and I know it has one 14 two in it. If I go over here to box number two, it's a duplex, it's a single gang, and I see it has two 14 twos into it. So I would go a single gang, a duplex, two 14 twos. Look at three, three, four, five uh, are all the same. So if I go back over to that, Then I go over to six, which is really the same except for it's a switch. And <clears throat> when I do look at it, I'm missing a switch leg. So there would be a switch leg that comes out of here. So it would have three. So let's go over here and say box number six it would be a single gang. It would have a switch and it would have three 14 twos. I look at box seven. And it's one gang, a duplex, and two 14 twos. And then let's look at box eight. Now that's a two gang box. It has a 14 two coming from here, a 14 two going there, and then one 14 three out to the, the fan. So if I do this, it'll be a two gang. I have two switches, two 14 twos, one 14 three. Now you can take this matrix and figure out your uh, your box fill from there, and then you can put your cubic inch uh, inside of here. And every time you do box fill, um, go ahead and make sure that you use um, one uh, cable clamp uh, in each box. And I hope this helps. Uh, I know you might not have got to uh, class tonight for one reason or the other, or you had to leave early. Uh, I just wanted this to make a little more sense.